this would have been with no trees here. It's just amazing. I mean, Jeff went, that's Gray Hill Mountain up there. You get to the overlook, and you can overlook the, the Great Pond and then the whole Connecticut River. Pretty cool. We went to a cellar hole down there not too long ago. Found a Wedgwood plate. We're going to go back down and grab it. I left it there. But I think we just found the other cellar hole right here. It's got a good old lip here. So, uh, it's got a surface line. I don't know what it is. Looks like a little brown bottle of some sort. Medicine bottle, maybe. I don't know. I'll take it. Check it out at home when I get my glasses on. All right. On to the next. Thanks for tuning in. Hey, Jazzy Jeff's with me today. All right. Here we go. All right. The cellar hole's right here. Jazzy Jeff just went up over the hill somewhere. Not sure where. I got a nice 16 signal down here. I just dug it. Wasn't thinking lead. Now I am. <laughs> I think I got a pistol ball. How cool is that? It's probably like a 32, 36 caliber maybe. Maybe 38. I don't know. Very cool. Sweet. You know what you gotta do. Mwah. Thank you, thank you for this relic on a Sunday. All right. Stay tuned. We'll see what else I can get. All right. Hold on. Thanks for tuning in. All right, you know what I gotta do? I gotta whip out the old Purdue. All right. Sweet. It's opened up. I just cleaned it out yesterday from our hunt. Get this out of here. Uh-oh. No. Get the pistol ball in there. Cover it up. And good to go. On to the next. Thanks for tuning in. All right, stand by. Stay tuned. Oops, I hit the zoom again, didn't I? Darn. There you go. There. Looks like something was here. Jesse just got a signal. Let's see what he got. Hmm. Oh, what is that thing? Haven't touched it. He just plucked a hole and there's something sitting right there. Let me take a picture real quick, bud. And then we'll, we'll extract it. Looks like That's cool. Maybe oh, I should have brought my glasses. You ready? Go oh, ahead. Yeah. Oh. Oh. No, that's coin, dude. Definitely coin. Let me um, get the toothbrush on it. We'll get right back to you. Oh, it's something. Oh, no way. Hold on. Mr. Happy Feet. I said, hey, you want to go check that area out real quick? He goes, yeah, I'm game. First target. Look at this crap. Oh, excuse my French. One cent. Look at that. Beautiful. I'll just clean this back off. Let me get a picture. Look at that thing. That is beauteous. I think it's a matron head. Let's see if I can get a date. Could be a braided hair. I can't tell. Well, I ain't got my glasses on either. Thanks for tuning in, Mr. Happy Face. All right, stand by. I'll get a date. This thing's got some delicious meat left on it. That is just awesome. Congrats, Jeff. Other side's a little toasted. What were able to ID it? 1838. I believe that's the matron head. 18, I don't know. Don't, don't quote me. It's 1838, though, I think. Congrats, brother. Thank you. That's just awesome. I'm glad you got one today. Thanks. Oh, wait, you want it back? Yeah, oh, there you go. <laughs> Jeff just dug a large scent right there and he thinks he's got another one right here. Let's take a look see. This is only a couple inches down. Oh yeah. Looks like 
which is a fat rim of something right there. Let me get a picture. I'll get right back to you. Hey, brother, you ready for me to pluck this thing? Go ahead. Ooh, he got two in less than 10 minutes. It's crazy. Oh, something. Is that gold? No. So, but it looks like the same kind of coin. I think I see the matron head already right there. Flip it this way. It should be one cent. Let me uh, dust this off. Is he going to have a three copper day? I never even had a two copper day. This lucky guy. <laughs> not taking him out no more. All right, Jazzy Jeff here. That was the second copper right there. I just pulled it, cleaned it. I'll see if you guys can see it. What do I do with them? Anyways. Uh, I get the face back here. There it is. I can't see it now. Oh, there it is. Right here. Dun, dun, dun. It's King George II, but it's a Connecticut state copper. C-O-N-N-E-C -N -N -E on this side. And when you flip it, it's Britannia on the back. Wow, congratulations there, Jazzy Jeff. Your first Connecticut copper. That's awesome, brother. Sweet. Congrats. Thank you. Am I over there? Oh, Sorry. Okay. My bad. Let me get a picture. That's the same year as your Vermont State Copper and the Fujio, 1787. Cool. Sweet. You gotta love this hobby. All right, my turn for a large scent today. I have to call out of work. <laughs> well, Jeff, we can go back there because it's closer to where we parked. Went ahead and closer to here where we found the old Wedgwood plate last time. We got her back. I'm gonna take it out of here this week with me this time. Got that in the finds pouch. Just found a lead pewter spoon bowl right near the cellar hole here last time I was here. I just found this thing, I'm not sure what it is. And a, uh, I think it's a leg to something, I'm not sure. But hey, we'll move on to the next soon. We'll see you after. Let me get a picture on for the next. Ooh, the wind's picking up, getting a little chilly. All right, stay tuned. That's a mountain up there. Jesse Jeff's down there somewhere. YouTubers and Facebookers. Just a quick wrap up. Jesse Jeff gave me a couple of spoons that he dug. He didn't want them. So I'll keep them and put them in one of my displays. They're beautiful straight spoons. So hey, thanks Jeff. Appreciate it, bud. But after the collab on Saturday, which was last week's hunt, <laughs> me and Jeff went out Sunday morning before I had to go to work. Went and looked for that second cellar hole we missed and uh, where we were where I found that plate. I went and picked up the plate as well. Found a second cellar hole. I found this on a surface find. Not sure. Uh, I mean, it's modern. It's got the, you know, the seam on the sides, but uh, don't know what it was for. It was small. But hey, it's a nice brown bottle. I picked it up. All right. I didn't find too much there. Jeff found the most of the good stuff. But, hey, you want to see what's in my box? Let's take a look. I found this little thing. I'm not sure what it is. It's brass. It's a tip of something. It broke off. Just don't know what. I've never seen. I don't know. Any ideas? Please leave it in the comments below. Next, I got a nice little musket ball there by the cellar hole. Probably 32 or 36 caliber. I'm thinking. Kind of cool. Oh, nothing in that one. Oh, this was cool. This was from last week, uh, Saturday's hunt. Oh, I forgot to show it. A drawer scutcheon. Forgot to show it in the wrap up. Saw it in the video though. Cool piece. Nice little door cabinet. Little knob going on top of that. And then this. This brass. I just don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a little leg to something. Never seen such a thing. Don't know if it's a push down thing for a trumpet. I doubt that though. Any ideas? So just leave it in the comments below. Maybe a plunger or I don't know. Not a clue. Fun hunt though. Well, I'll show you what Jeff found. You'll see it. The coins. Unbelievable. I'll show you some pictures of that too. All right, guys. He has the coins. He found them both. 1838 and the uh, 1787 Connecticut State Copper. 
How sweet is that? I'll take what I got, and uh, congratulations, Jeff, on your two coins that day. Makes up for Saturday, huh? All right, guys, we'll catch you later. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you tune in tomorrow night, Saturday, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We'll get busy with some rollover scratch tickets. Say hi to everybody, and then 8 o'clock, we'll start the new show for coin roll hunting half dollars. Tune in, have some fun. It's always a blast in the chat. We'll see you there. Thank you.